Let's face it, for most companies, labor is by far their biggest expense. ASTD recently said that American businesses spent over $171 billion on employee learning and development. Yet according to IDC, half of every dollar invested in training is wasted. From the need for executive reporting to the need to link learning to business outcomes, many of the biggest challenges faced by L&D executives revolve around being able to run training like a business. As the world's largest provider of learning and talent measurement solutions, Knowledge Advisors works with some of the largest and most recognizable companies in the world. We recently spoke with some of these clients to discuss how they work with Knowledge Advisors and our learning measurement solution, Metrics That Matter. The advice that I would give people who are starting um, this unbelievably, unbelievably difficult journey um, on measurement and evaluations would be to start by creating a strategy. And my journey started four years ago when I attended a Knowledge Advisors Symposium. I went to Peggy Parsky's session on strategy and it changed the way we approach training. And by that I mean everything. We changed everything we did from needs assessment through evaluation and through doing that we have become a best-in-class training organization and we've won two awards for it. We're now in the learning elite. Um, we've received additional funding and we continue to get better because we created the measures and evaluation strategy with knowledge advisors. I had a chance to meet with one of our VPs in the last few months and he's working on a program where we're redoing how we organize our restaurants and how we manage our restaurants. So he's not in training and development, he's a uh, business leader within the organization and I shared with him what we were doing in regards to measurement and I had some data with me regarding learning, um, how much folks have learned since we initiated this new curriculum and it was one number, it was a 25% a increase in fact in knowledge that we saw from some of our managers. He linked on to this number and probably three weeks later that's all I heard from around the organization from different operations uh, leaders and so it was really exciting to hear how a business leader not a training leader was using this information to help people pull the curriculum um, and use it to improve their results so that was exciting. Yeah, we're excited that we placed number five on the training's top 125 and it was quite a significant jump for us this year and part of that success I think was being able to understand our story a little bit better and tell it a little bit better. Um, a lot through the work that we've done with Knowledge Advisors of not only having a strategy in place but understanding um, what we're measuring and being able to communicate that measurement internally and externally. Microsoft has worked with Knowledge Advisors for upwards of 10 years, and that's been in an ever more complex capacity. So I believe that we began by simply saying passively, I think we ought to work on the, the content of our training curriculum. Well, let's ask the trainers. So Knowledge Advisors, how do we do that? How do we just sort of passively deploy uh, surveys among our trainers? And then, while wow, wouldn't it be a great idea to do that directly for the students as well and ask them about the content quality of our curriculum? Knowledge Advisors, how do we do that? And then to go further into deploying that with our partners and actually helping our partners schedule classes through uh, with, uh, with Microsoft. You know, Knowledge Advisors help us grow through that. You know, there was sort of a magic moment when it was no longer just Microsoft Learning that knew the vast wealth of data that we had and the value of that. At one point, we were introduced to the people in, in charge of our software assurance program. This is a program that ties um, us closer to our, the largest of our customers, our enterprise customers, uh, giving them you know, more of a, that customer relationship. As part of that, they investigated whether or not to give training vouchers to those enterprise customers to have free training. And they were wondering whether it was worth the investment, and so we suggested a trial. And so they gave us training vouchers, and then we were able, through metrics that matter, 
to tell them whether or not that landed. They knew not only the amount that they'd spent on the vouchers, they knew whether those vouchers were used in what region of the world, on what technology the, the training was given. They knew from the standpoint of that enterprise customer what the quality of that course was. They knew that the incremental satisfaction um, driven into the relationship with that enterprise customer as a result of a successful training. And we were able to showcase that through the data from Metrics That Matter. And as a result of that, we've been able, to see, I think we're in our eighth, maybe ninth year, eighth year of uh, millions of dollars worth of training vouchers that these business groups that have no relationship to Microsoft Learning. We're talking Office, we're talking Windows, we're talking Windows Server. They, they're not doing it because they like us. They're doing it because they see a clear return on value that we're able to prove through metrics that matter. Knowledge advisors can provide the technology, consulting, and performance solutions to help get you started today. Simply visit our website at www.knowledgeadvisors.com or contact us directly at 800-561-3341.